gentlemen, Fuzzy Nightwing back again um, with I don't know what episode, but uh, as you guys can see, I did some awesome training for level 43, Flower Power. Finally learned Petal Dance. He learns at level 44. So, let's get her done. Yes, we're finally going to be getting ourselves a Vile Plume. Oh my gosh. It's about time. So, uh,. There we go. Flower Power evolved into Vile Plume. It learns Petal Dance at level 44, as you guys can see there. But Aqua Jet is level 44 now. I'll go over their stats again. So Aqua Jet has 94 base attack, defense 100, special attack is 97, special defense is 36, and speed is 106. And I didn't necessarily have to do that, now did I? Um, Flower Power stats is now. 80 base attack is 88, defense is 96, his special attack is 96, his special defense is 102, and his speed is 63. And Flareon stats are attack 144, defense 61, special attack is 89, special defense is 110, and speed is 80. Now, uh, so yeah, that's that our team. Um, and I did go out and buy a Miracle Seed, which is on Flower Power, and I will be buying those two. But I will be buying three more things from the uh, air thing. And uh, guys, you can ha you can have a choice to do two things. First of all, you can go take on the gym leader right now, or you can do something that you're go that you're going to have to do. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the the thing that we have to do after being in the gym, just to get make some more money and. Um, it's not like, you know, I could easily take it on with Flareon, but just for the pact of showing it off first, because I would like to do all the gym leaders in a row. So, uh, oh, yeah, I thought Flareon Smog, but, uh, I didn't really, I actually didn't mean to click on it right there, but Flareon's movesets, Flamethrower, Smog, Quick Attack, and Bite. Um, and, uh, File Plume's move set is Petal Dance, uh, Acid, and there is a uh, Sleep Powder, and then uh, Aqua Jet's uh, moves are Rain Dance, Water Pulse, Water Gun, and Bite. So, uh, I'm going to continue on through this route over here. Fire is just tearing everything up. So that's a rock. And down here you can get a Pokeball. Okay, I think I still have super speed on, so, okay, I'm actually going to turn that off. Oh, right. Okay, I recommend battling these guys now because when at the end when you come out you're gonna have to battle them again. So Second here, guys. Seems like it's kind of laggy, so I'm gonna switch to that. Hopefully, it won't be as laggy. All right. And I don't believe there's any items in here. Nope. All righty. So then you wanna go down to the next floor. Oh, crap nuggets. Well, anyways, um. You can skip this one totally and go to the one downstairs first. Uh, I'm going to be using the one downstairs first, but uh, do whatever you feel the need to do. Because either way, you're going to have to go on through this one. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing the second, the, la the one you're supposed to do first, first. Just so it kind of speeds things up a little bit here. 
and I should hopefully get this done this episode um because it's not that hard it's actually pretty simple all right like there is another step step to doing this but that's an after step I guess you could say but you have to do this step before you do the other step um, okay it's kind of a Zubat I know why I'm using flamethrower I could I'm just gonna quick attack now beast of 144 regular attack friends and attacking beast but which kind of doesn't really make much sense because this is a fire type. Most fire types are special based, I guess, because most of their moves are special. But and Flareon also learns a uh, fire spin, uh, which I got rid of smog for because that moves. I'm not gonna lie, it's it sucks. It's just completely horrible. Let's go down here, and then there is, I believe, an item. But yeah, guys, I don't know. After this walkthrough, I might do uh, Emerald or Sapphire version, or maybe even uh, Ruby. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But, because uh, I want to kind of get rid of all the older Pokemon games before I get into the newer ones. Um, so, yeah, that's. Mm hmm. And okay, so we're almost up the level on Flareon. Alrighty. And down here you can grab TM21 Frustration. Okay, and as you see, there's nothing over there. And what you want to do for this puzzle is you go right here, right here. In order to grab that item, you go right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that item because it is a rare candy. Um. But uh, I shouldn't um, be doing any off-screen training before the Elite Four because uh, I'm only going to be using three Pokemon throughout this LP. So I might catch another one, but I don't know yet. Uh, it depends. Um, and I was going to use a Ponita instead of Flareon, but I, I'm guessing you guys would have rather me have used the Flareon instead of a Ponita because... Um, I'm pretty sure you guys will get sick and tired of seeing these, those exact two Pokemon being played over and over again um, until we got all the way up to the seven gym and uh, by then uh, po you only catch ponies at a variety of between like 34 and 30 some I think it's 34 and 37 um, and that and by the time we made it there both my Pokemon would probably be like in their 60s and I just think that it would be kind of weird so I just decided to go for the Flareon, but I definitely trained up Flareon uh, to the next level. As you guys can see, it's matched up right in the levels. So yeah, we're gonna go into Aqua Jet. All right. So you get the black glasses there. Okay, and then right here you can get a Max Ether. And right over here, you can get a TM40. You can get TM49 Snatch. And what you want to do to continue progress further, you have to battle this guy. And uh, yeah, this guy is the person that is holding the lift key that controls the elevator. And you were not able to go through the elevator before you did went down here and battled this guy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. water pulse everything okay you know the last two the three previous uploads have been a lot but I'm gonna try not for them not to be that long anymore oops I dropped the lift key all right and then right behind him when you finish the theme you can get the lift key go back up and then it gives you an easy step of going down here and you go back up here and then you go all the way in over here and I'm gonna grab that one and that is a moonstone and over here you can find 
X speed. Okay. And right there you can find TM12 taunt. And right here you want to go on that one. And then it just progresses. Oh crap. And of course I went the wrong one. But hey, the, and right there you can find yourself a super potion. Now, uh, alrighty. Okay, and then, and now you can use the elevator. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Go on to the fourth floor, which is where we're supposed to go on. And you come all the way over here and you can find yourself a calcium. Okay. And then you have to battle these two guys and in order for the door to open up right there. So let's just go ahead and quickly get rid of these two. Rocket Grunts. And yes, yeah, this is actually the very first time you are actually going up against Team Rocket as an actual team and destroying all their plans. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, Aqua Jet Beast them. And this one specializes in uh, Sand Shoe, Sand Slash, and the other one re recognizes in Ekans and Arbok. But uh, this one will have an, one Ekans and the other one will have one Sand Shrew. That's just uh, something to. That is their Pokemon varieties. Uh, each one. So this one here has a Sand Shrew, Sand Slash, and Ekans, and the other one's going to have an Ekans, Arbok, and Sand Shrew. Uh, Supposing types are weak against psychic and uh, ground types, so there you go. And ground's obviously weak to water, grass, you know, things like that. So, um, sent out, yeah, okay, and they're all, all of them are level 23, so. we can quickly go through this because I really, really want to finish this this episode um, okay and here comes out his R block Don't intimidate me son okay Arbok. And here we are, and we go up against the uh, boss here. I recommend you save before going up against boss, but it's not a big deal to me because he specializes in ground type Pokemon. So this is going to be very easy for me, um, as well as it should for you because you should have a grass or water type by now. Um. So, uh, alright, so he's gonna send in an Onyx for his first Pokemon, level 25. We're just gonna hit it with a Water Pulse and knock it straight out. Okay, and like I said before, if you would like to catch an Onyx, you can actually find one in, in, in the Rock Tunnel. And his second Pokemon is gonna be a Rhyhorn, at level 24. And, uh, so let's go ahead and take care of that. And, uh, so yeah, and then his final Pokemon is a Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan is level 29. I uh, don't really recall its moves that much, so I'm just going to put up a Rain Dance, so we should definitely be able to one-shot it. But either way, just in case, though, throw up a Rain Dance, because that will boost up Aqua Jet's water-type moves. It's quite obvious from the name, Rain Dance. Um, and of course, I did not mean to do that again. That was an epic fail by me. And uh, it's just me trying to speed through this. Okay. God damn it, why do I keep on doing that? Stupid ROM keeps on lagging like balls. Holy shit. God damn it, man. Just hit it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Holy jeez Louise. Okay. And of course, it still didn't. Hopefully, it doesn't hit us again. Because that. Uh, we kind of suck, but it wouldn't be a big deal because our Aqua Jet here is a tank. 
and it will beast through anyone. Okay, it doesn't really matter what I do here, but I'll just water gun it, I guess. Okay, and Aqua Jet's gonna grow to level 45, which is good, good, good. And, uh, so now he's talking. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And then when he leaves, he drops the Silph Scope, which is what you can, which is what you need to, to pr progress further in this side, mis side mission, I guess you could say. So now you use this all the way to two. You don't actually have to do this. You can put it back to the second floor. So you don't have to battle this trainer, but I would recommend battling this trainer because I recommend battling every single trainer. So yeah, we're just gonna. Did I switch Valpoom up front? I probably didn't. Yeah, of course I didn't. Oh well, Aqua Jack can still take care of this. So uh, there we go. That is down, and uh, I, I thought he had only one Pokemon. Well, I guess not. It looks like he has the trio, Grimer and Coughing. So we're just gonna finish this off. And hopefully we made enough money to go buy some more coins because the next move we need is really quite handy dandy. And guys, I'm actually, if we, uh, I'm going to be off camera money whoring. And uh, I'm going to have a really special way of uh, later on in the video once we finish up the side quest on how to make quick and easy cash. And uh later on I'll be posting that video up so you guys can check that out but uh, yeah so yeah guys I'm gonna be go money whoring till I get 4,000 coins and I will uh, see you guys on the, uh, the Pokemon or Pokemon are obviously gonna be quite higher leveled might be because it's gonna take quite a long quite a while to money whore but so yeah I will see you guys on the next episode we'll be continuing on this side quest so I will see you guys all later um, Fuzzy Nightwing signing out. Peace!